Massachusetts government warns the public about GS Partners and Novatech FX, which were two horrible investment scams, warning the public of ties to criminal activity. Anyways, all of that and more coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. On this channel, what I do most of the time, as per request by my viewers, is I review income opportunity systems, platforms, and even training products. If it's make money online that you're after or steer yourself away from a potential scam, make sure you find that subscribe button and also click on the bell notification icon. That way, every single time I go live with this useful, helpful information that can serve you, you'll be one of the very first people to get access to it. Also, at any time throughout watching this video, if you are looking for a legitimate way to create passive income for yourself with crypto and DeFi, 100% legitimate, get access to my number one recommendation underneath this video, first link in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is the latest uh, press release. Uh, I guess it was about in the last week by Massachusetts, Massachusetts government, okay. This is the actual warning over here. I'll include a link to uh, this blog post review of mine on my website underneath this video in the description box below for those of you who need further information. Okay, all you gotta do is click below, get into the blog and uh, click on warns public and you can read it all for yourself it's just way too many things to go over in this quick update in regards to uh, these two investment scams that are tied to criminal activity uh, called GS Partners and Novatech FX. Okay. GS Partners and Novatech FX have been deemed cryptocurrency scams that have ties to criminal activity. Massachusetts government warns the public beware. Okay. That's a press release that was issued earlier this week. And uh, you can just click here and get to uh, the Massachusetts government office. Okay. Uh, this is just a screenshot of the two investment scams that we're talking about here today. That's a link uh, to GS Partners that you can see on this page over here when you scroll down. GS Partners and that is the... One of the latest uh, domains that they were using, okay, and I believe they're using another one now. We'll get into that in just a moment. And then there's Novatech FX here. That was NovatechFX.com. So basically, in a nutshell, it says, beware of cryptocurrency scams. Consumers should be wary of cryptocurrency scams. You should have probably heard of cryptocurrency, a trendy new way of investing your money. Okay, that's why... You know, I was telling people, some of you, right? Some of you who are serious and maybe you lost some money here and there. I don't promote anything, uh, you know, fake. I don't promote Ponzi schemes. I could make a lot of money uh, doing that for myself since I have uh, developed a lot of credibility over the years with this channel, with my blog, and with other um, skills that I've learned marketing on the internet, okay? Um, I'm pretty well a review guy, right? So I have access to a lot of people, but I don't promote these. Uh, I'm not pointing, meaning my website here is a scam. It's an actual platform that's legitimate. Okay, that's all I'm going to say there. So I don't promote MLM investment scams. They're a dime a dozen and people keep losing their shirts in them. Okay, so the, the Massachusetts government's warning public, you know, beware. Okay, no matter how appealing the offer is in respects to ROI, meaning they're promising you guys big ROI for doing nothing. Be careful, because what did we see with these two schemes? They ended in collapse. Then they went on to say, but how safe are these investments and how do you protect yourself from cryptocurrency fraud, right? You gotta be very careful because 
once you pay or you uh, make deposits into these platforms, you can't reverse the crypto transaction. It's very hard to do that, right? And some of these guys, like uh, you got Joseph Height here with GS Partners, right? Uh, pur purportedly has ties to Croatian mob. There's actually documentation out there online if you guys go out there. And I highly recommend you go and do this. Go out there and do your own research, right? You're going to find it. Has ties to Croatian mob, right? But he's overseas. The thing is, uh, a lot of the people who lost money in GS Partners as well as the Novatech FX were Americans and Canadians, right? It's hard to get their hands on Jossip overseas, wherever the heck he may be. I heard he's hiding out in Dubai. Now, GS, now with the Novatech FX, that's a different story because the two founders here, Eddie and Cynthia, she was pretending to be a reverend, right? Uh, and they were using, both of these schemes were using network marketing. But these guys are U.S. nationals, right? And I strongly feel, this is my own perspective, that they're actually still in Florida hiding out from the Department of Justice. If the Department of Justice gets, I think they're eventually going, they're going to get caught. Most likely, they're using disguises to hide themselves. Some people uh, were saying, oh, they're probably out in Dubai. Most people will go to Dubai. But I get the feeling she's the boss here. He's just following along, right? Listens to her. She's the dominant uh, member of their faculty team, husband and wife team here. And I get the strong feeling. I'm usually right with this. I'm not saying this is what it is in this case. But I'm usually right, right? I'm not <laughs> even trying to be right. But it usually turns out that what I said happens. I get the feeling that she loves Florida so much. Right? She started out as a realtor. She should have just stayed uh, as a realtor. I would think that was common sense. She was making a good living, but she wanted to make millions and millions of dollars for herself and her family members. I heard even the top um, three positions in the Novatech FX comp plan, right, were preloaded to family members, meaning distant family members of the Pettians, maybe brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, parents, etc., siblings even, right? The top three slots, no matter how many of you invested your hard-earned money, the people at the top always win, right? But in the case here, these two are now hiding from the cops, fighting, hiding from the Department of Justice because they don't want to get handcuffs placed on them and they don't want to serve time, you know, behind bars. And for what? Network marketing, right? Now, anyways, getting back to GS Partners, has since rebranded into Billion Eco. Isn't that a crazy name? That is my perspective as well. Okay? That is my perspective as well. That's a feeling that I have. I think they honestly did. I got a comment on my channel. Bear with me for one sec while I find that uh, image. Okay, right here. Got a comment here. Usually these tips, once in a while I get them, right? Uh, and they usually pan out. They, I mean, this is talking about GS Partners. And uh, one of the people said they rebranded to Billion Eco. Okay, that is another deal with a different name. Pretty well uh, um, a backdoor, if you will for GS partners because they got into a lot of trouble. So many states have issued fraud warnings and cease and desist um, orders against them. And they have even gotten, uh, meaning uh, the security regulators out there and Department of Justice are investigating top promoters, MLM scam promoters right now. Now with GS Partners, they've been linked to money laundering, human trafficking, illegal weapons trade, and of course, their snazzy investment scams. Uh, what do they call it? Certificates. With these guys here, meaning the Reverend CEO and the husband, 
they stole millions from the hardworking public using all oh, both of these schemes were using network marketing but these guys were pretending that they were a big forex brokerage firm um from the caribbean <laughs> from the caribbean even though they were in um miami or oh, not miami they're actually um i forgot what part of the states what part of florida that they're actually in the exact city it's not important but it was one of the uh, main places in florida okay based on my understanding now they were they had an office and i don't even think they were paying for it they were using an address i think it was saint vincent and the grenadines right and a lot of scams use that address but with these guys, I think they were so cheap, right? Because they, they were running a, a, a big company. Well, big it's a seemingly big company with just the ghostly trio, meaning uh, the reverend, the husband, and the, the reverend's brother-in-law, right? Three of them. And that's why they, were, uh, they had a whole bunch of complaints from uh, network marketing uh, followers saying, hey, you were putting tickets in and you're not answering. I honestly believe that these two didn't even pay for a virtual office address uh, for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, that they were just using the address in, in their documentation on the internet, right? That is my perspective again, but that's what I think. I think they were too cheap to even pay the $50 or $80 a month for that um, virtual office address in, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And they had so many people trying to check that office address out that the, even the company in St. Vincent and the Grenadines put a big warning out to the public saying uh, there's a, a scam in question here and they're not in this building. They do not reside here. They do not rent office space from us, right? But still, uh, they had a lot of uh, you know warnings from even content creators as myself, other reviewers telling you guys, you guys are going to get scammed. And, you know, the, the people who cry out more and who get angry more are not like the, net, the network marketing MLM uh, big heavy hitters out there. It's usually the people who are fearful that, hey, this might be a potential scam, but look, they're promising, you know, ridiculous returns. And we can be millionaires with this. And when we go out there as a reviewer telling you guys, like, you know, be careful, you're going to get scammed. The people who are investing don't want to hear that. Some of them appreciate this type of information, but most don't, okay? There's the, uh, even another uh, reviewer out there, Ponzi Patrol. I watched a video of his. He does some pretty good reviews uh, on exposing uh, these schemes, Brandon. And uh, I heard him say that, because I heard him mention in a, in a comment that the majority of people that he's trying to help um, are actually angry with the information that he shares and I think he was surprised by that right and then yeah of course you got behind MLM the top uh, scam buster out there Oz uh, who does some you know awesome work right I, I would say he's the top guy when you want to even I myself go to his website uh, when I want to find out things that I don't know myself right um, but he has an awesome way of delivering this content right uh, with, with him doing it, meaning Oz, he's had so many years of experience exposing these schemes. He's not surprised by the crazy comments that he gets from the disgruntled public who are, you know, desperately trying to make money with these horrible investment scams and getting angry when it turns out to be an investment scam. Okay. So both GS Partners and Novatech were heavily promoted by network marketing distributors, ambitious uh, distributors. At the end of the day, guys, it's not worth getting into legal trouble by trying to make dollars, e quick and easy dollars, even if you think that's what it is, with fake investment offerings that can't be registered. There's no such thing as quick and easy money. There is um, opportunity with DeFi right now. If you, you get into the right program and the right coaching and you're actually following the right curriculum that can uh, take you step by step uh, on how to create projects of your own. If that's something that you're looking for, go underneath this video at any time. Click on the first link below to my website and take action there, okay? There are some legitimate opportunities with DeFi that are lucrative right now. 
Uh, now, getting into that, now, that's a different story, but can you imagine getting into Amazon fulfillment when it was new, right? Now, there's still, like, other people trying to get into Amazon and, and still getting into Amazon fulfillment, but they're just, like, picking up extra, you know, pennies here and there. They're making some profit, of course, but not like the people who got into Amazon fulfillment in the beginning when it was a new thing. Right, those people who positioned back then have changed their lives financially, and then there are people who invested in Amazon stock when it was low, multimillionaires. Then, of course, with Bitcoin, Bitcoin investors, there are people who got in when it was as low as a dollar. Can you imagine that? Who you know said, "Hey, we'll just we'll buy some of this thing and see what what happens." And there are other people who got in when it was like as low as $10 and then even others that got in as low as $100 per Bitcoin. Some of them have turned out to be billionaires. Isn't that something? So anyways, there's an opportunity for you right now. Underneath this video, first link in the description box below. There's a lot of whales, meaning like financial uh, institutions who are trying to capitalize on this way of creating your own projects, right? They're trying to create their own projects. Some of them are doing it, some big firms, but there's too much red tape currently for these big financial institutions to do this, right? So there is a window of opportunity, maybe a year, maybe two years for those who are interested. And it's not that difficult, right? We have, um, we have single moms who've come in here and are seeing gains daily by following this system and this curriculum, okay? There are um, people who are on disability, who are, who've actually not just went through the information, but who are, have actually taken action, right? Who are seeing gains every single day. So it's not rocket science. It's not that difficult. It's not anything like day trading. Who the heck wants to do that? But you guys can actually earn from all those people who are trying to dig gold online right now, digitally, right? Without having to do any of that stuff, without having to get into mining and no big um, make money uh, setups. Okay. So it's not a difficult procedure okay but there is a curriculum there is a system in place Just go underneath this video and click on the first link below for those of you who want to learn more now with gs partners and uh, the novatech if i get any more information and of course um since they are two of the biggest investment scams that have come out um to the public and even the network marketing community over the past few years of course there's going to be more information so any if i get when I get more information, not if, when I get inform more information on GS Partners and the Novatech FX, I will be sure to share. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next one. Take care.